here are our quiz seven solutions for math 60. Um, first problem, we have this kind of geometric word problem. Um, gives us some information. It says the length of a rectangle is three less than twice its width, and the perimeter is five times its width. Um, and then we have some hints, but what we want to do is write an equation that models the information above using x as the variable. All right. So it kind of gives us some steps here. It says let width be equal to x. And then the second thing here is find a way to express length in terms of x. So the way we can do that is we got a sentence up here. It says the length of a rectangle is, so I got length is, is length equals 3 less than twice its width. 3 less than means subtract 3. Twice its width, but I know width is x. So I can say 2x minus 3. Um, and then what I got to do is find out the perimeter. But I know that the perimeter tells me up here the perimeter is 5 times its width. So width is x, 5 times its width would be 5x. So I want to use the perimeter formula to get an equation. Um, and I can do that. I know that perimeter of a rectangle is twice the length plus twice the width. Sort of the idea there is if you have a rectangle and this is the length and this is the width, to get all the way around this thing you get two L's and two W's. All right, and so I know perimeter is 5x. And I know length is 2x minus 3. And I know width is x. So here I have an equation that models all this information. And what it wants me to do in part B is solve this equation. The way I can solve it is first distribute. What distributing does is it gets rid of these parentheses here. So you take this 2 and you multiply it in. You get 4x minus 6 plus 2x. And we can collect like terms. We get 5x is equal to 6x minus 6. Um, and sure, let's subtract 6x from both sides. That gives me negative x equals negative 6. So then if you multiply both sides by negative 1, you get x equals 6. Um, so what I did is I solved that equation for x. So what that means is that in my rectangle right here, the width is equal to x. Um, and you can check that. You can plug it back in and make sure everything works. But I'm fairly confident we did things right. So maybe I'll just leave it at that. Second problem, find five solutions to this equation by filling out the table below. All right, I think the easiest way to do this is you want to isolate x. So instead of 4 minus x minus y equals 0, if we add y to both sides, we get 4 minus x is equal to y, or y equals 4 minus x. And the reason you want to isolate y is because that's the variable we don't know here. So we can kind of say, all right, if x equals negative 2, y would equal 4 minus negative 2, which is the same as 4 plus 2, or 6. And if x equals negative 1, we get y equals 4 minus negative 1. 4 minus negative 1 is 5. And continuing in this fashion, we can figure out what we get if x equals 0, x equals 1, or x equals 2. We just go along those same lines. We say, all right, y equals 4 minus 0, 4 minus 1 or 4 minus 2, all things we can solve, or you kind of just see the pattern here. And so what we've done is filled out our table. So we got five solutions to this equation already. These, when x equals negative 2, y equals 6, we get a solution to this equation, for example. And now what it wants me to do is take these points and plot them down here. So our first point was when x equals negative 2, which is over here, my y equals 6, one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to count, but I think that's right. Uh, when x equals negative one, y should be equal to five. So negative one, five. 
And when x equals 0, y should be equal to 4. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. And when finally, when x equals 2, y is also equal to 2. So I get these five solutions, and I can kind of connect them with this straight line, or as straight of a line as I can draw on this computer. Maybe I'll scroll down a little bit so I can finish my line. End up with something like this. And what this line represents is all of the solutions, not just five of them, but every solution to this equation. Um, and that's the end of the quiz.